So social media, when used right, is the most powerful modern marketing tool for new and emerging musicians. It offers huge potential for getting your music discovered, getting it heard by the right audiences and growing your online fan base. And a lot of this comes down to the fact that social media is global. Most of the entire world's population are active on at least one social media platform. So if there's people out there that could connect with your music, it's almost guaranteed that they'll be on or using some form of social media. And with new types of social media platforms bringing up all over the place, there really is no better time than now to start educating yourself on all things social promo. So in today's video, we're gonna be sharing 10 of the most important things that you should be doing as a musician to grow your audience, get your music discovered and boost your online presence. Plus we'll be including recent real world examples of each of these techniques in action from big named artists. And you'll be able to take all of these steps away and utilize them in your own social media campaigns. But before we start, just like usual, make sure you like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Remember to leave any comments or questions down below and we'll get back in the comments to as many as we can. So let's get involved. Let's go. But before we dive in, just a quick disclaimer. How you choose to market your music across social media from platform to platform will vary, and that's a given. Each social media platform comes with its own do's and don'ts in terms of the best practices in growing your audience around your music. But for the purpose of this video, we're gonna talk about 10 things that are pretty much universal. Things that you can apply to any platform, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, or even Instagram, or any other kind of big platforms. So let's get straight in with strategy number one, be authentic. I mean, the whole point of social media is to create connections with others. But we're not talking about baseline, average connections that anyone could make. Establishing real and honest connections are the ones that actually matter. By presenting a more authentic perception of yourself on social media, it allows your followers to build a deeper connection with you and your music, making them much more likely to become loyal fans. So what's the key to creating a more authentic online personality? Posting genuine content that you know that your fans will love. A great example of artists that do this in the real world are Haim. They push a more authentic online presence through content that strikes the right balance between their artist persona and their own personal lives. You can see this straight away from their Instagram feed where they have posted a collection of images from their childhoods and their day-to-day -day lives. And then they mix that in between their more music focused content. Things like studio pics and tour posters and even clips of their music videos. The band also posts content that directly speaks to what they represent and stand for as artists, which is likely to align with the views and opinions of their fans. And through this, they're able to establish more of a organic and holistic approach to their online presence. And it works out better than them just posting about music releases and launches and merch. You have to kind of think of it as if fans are seeing a 360 view of you as an artist, rather than just 90 degrees. So there's nothing wrong with using a blend of more casual posts and then more high-end production content. And then this will give fans a more genuine and more realistic insight into your life and your work. You have to kind of let fans become insiders into your life. And not only is this key for creating connections that will last, but it also encourages your fans to actively engage with you and your music on any chosen platform. So then strategy two is all about knowing your audience. When it comes to social media success, knowing exactly what your audience wants to see is really important. Now, of course, every artist is different. Therefore, every fan base is different. So there isn't really one specific rule or standard about what you should post or how often you should post or anything like that. But there's still a couple of things that you can do on socials to attract and engage the right audience. So for example, Kid Brunswick, who knows exactly what his audience wants to see. Kid's followers are always first to know about exclusive performance opportunities. Also entry requirements for online competitions and regular new music updates. As an emerging artist who's still working to make his name, Kid knows that giving his audience first dibs on news, announcements and chances to interact and engage with him is top priority. So learn from Kid's example and find out what your audience wants from you. Like I said earlier, there's millions millions of people on social media. But all of that means nothing if you aren't targeting the right audience for you. So if you're stuck on what content you should post to really strike a chord with your followers, use data tracking software, use in-app analytics, and this is all to get the best possible data and insight on what's working well, but also what's not working so well so you can cut that down. There's some great third-party tools that you can use to track growth 
and interactions with your social media posts, such as Social Blade or Sprout Social, which will be down in the description below if you wanna check that out at the end of the video. But most social media platforms now do come with inbuilt analytics and insights. And those will give you core information on metrics like reach and impressions. And you can usually access them from the main part of your profile or potentially in settings. Use these insights to help you and analyze how well a post has or hasn't done. It's so important, it'll help you on what to post next and help you tailor a strategy on getting the most impressions, reach, and eventually followers. It'll help your overall strategy. So number three is all about optimizing your social profile. So this is about making sure visually your social profiles are the best they can be. And this is right from the outset. So all your social media profiles should include an artist bio with a link or links to your most recent promo or release. And it's so important to have an up-to-date, optimized profile picture that fits the circle, the square, or whatever shape it might be. So think of these elements as the first intro to you. You'll want people to find your page immediately and know who you are and what you have to offer. You might even wanna look into trying getting verified on Instagram or getting a blue tick on Twitter. Side note, you'll definitely need authentic and relevant press coverage to warrant a verification. We've got guys for both of those things down below in the description, so check them out at the end of the video. But when it comes to optimizing your profile, there's no one size fits all. As long as you meet the bio and the profile image requirements, it's pretty much free reign from there. See now, as you can see from Arlo Parks' Instagram, she chooses to keep her bio pretty minimal, with just the name of her latest album and a link to her upcoming tour. And other artists might be a bit more extravagant with their bio. And on the other side, if you're a band like Blink-182, you might want to feature your tagline or maybe the names of the different people within the band and their socials maybe. But like I said, it's really up to you. But one thing both of these artists do very well is maximizing the use of their space and really catering for what would make sense for the type of music, the way they are perceived and how it all gels together. And a lot of them do this, what is known as using a smart link. A smart link is a great way of promoting all your recent or latest new and music, merch, shows and anything else coming up as a lot of the bios are a limited character amount. It makes it look neat and keeps all the important information in one place. It just makes it easier for fans to go and click and buy any merch or tour tickets or anything like that. So the next strategy, the fourth one, is all about how you interact with your fans. So this part's essentially how you put the social in social media. Being social just means having regular back and forth interactions and engagement with your fans. Whether that's replying to a comment or liking a post they've tagged you in or even resharing a post or a story that they've mentioned you in, it all adds up. Your fans wanna be seen by you just as much as you want to be seen by them. So these small acts of acknowledgement can actually go a very long way. Chance the Rapper, for example, smashes his online engagement and interactions. You only have to look at his Twitter profile to actually see how much he interacts with his fans and followers. He spends a lot of time retweeting and resharing his fans and followers stories all about how they've been affected by his music, usually positively. He also uses Twitter's poll feature to invite fans to cast their votes about any current events or anything that's happening. Remember, your social media profile is usually your first point of contact between you and the majority of your fans. So if they're asking you a direct question, about when's your next show or when is your next piece of merch being released. It's so important to respond to them, either by replying directly or sending them a DM. So although we're in 2022, for marketing your music in 2021, one of the biggest forms to make note of is the huge value in short form content, which takes me on to number five. Viral videos are the biggest current trend when it comes to digital marketing. The rise of newer platforms like TikTok as well as new features on more current platforms like YouTube Shorts are all really big signs that video marketing is here to stay. Which basically means you should be incorporating it into your social media strategies. People love to see video content, especially from their favorite music artists. Your social should definitely be a place where you can post this sort of stuff, short form content. Whether that's footage from a recent show, backstage content, or even like a behind the scenes video of you practicing a new song or a new hook at home. Artists like Arctic Monkeys feature loads of this kind of content on their social medias. And some of their most actively engaged posts are their video content. They've got a great range of footage, like an exclusive clip from their album feature film, plus loads of filmed onstage footage from their tours and their shows. And one last thing on content. Once you've got short form videos and you're ready to post these videos, you can also consider using social media scheduling software first. These allow you to make a content schedule and pre-schedule posts automatically. That way you're always organized and you'll never miss optimal time to post 
any kind of video or any kind of post. And on top of that, you can bulk create and separate it over the week or over a month. With a big variety of social media platforms on the market, another thing that will really help you develop your social media strategy is to drive cross-platform awareness. So this takes me onto the sixth point, and it's all about utilizing your engagement, following, and presence on one social media platform to drive followers onto another. And the way to do this is by syncing all of your social media channels to one another. So say, for example, your music and interaction is doing great on Instagram, and on there, you've got a couple thousand followers, but then your Twitter is lacking. You can then sync both of these channels up together to create an easy access route for your followers. And you'll have that on Instagram so they can go on Twitter from your Instagram to find you there or anywhere else. And typically utilizing links in your bio is the most obvious way to do this. But you can also directly engage with your followers to do this and ask them to follow you elsewhere by posting content on one channel that is exclusive to another channel. So let's look at a couple of big eyes to really explain what we mean. So Taylor Swift, for example, has a massive Twitter following and she utilizes that to drive her fans from there over to her TikTok account, which is a smaller account. She'll post a link to her latest TikTok video on her Twitter feed. So Drake is another big artist that uses this technique. So he'll post a link to his next big music video on his Twitter feed and drive traffic directly over to his YouTube. And in Drake's case, he can also just put up an image, a picture or a caption on his Instagram and the real stands will know that there's a video or some kind of content somewhere and create a clear access route from that social to another. So the seventh one is all about smart tagging. Using tags in your social media posts is a really great way to gain leverage from any collaborations you might do with another artist, an event or even a brand. And this is because when you tag other social media accounts in your posts, it's like sending a direct line to those people who follow those accounts, which kind of means that those followers could also end up being your followers. There's three main ways that you can smart tag as a musician on social media. Boost brands you're working with or just supporting. Give a shout out to a venue that you're performing at. Tag fellow musicians that you're gigging with, touring with, or even collaborating with on a song or a project. Mahaley is a recent example of an artist who utilized her recent collab with big named AJ Tracy to reach new audiences through tags, through tag feed posts, and even also featuring his Instagram handle in her bio, as well as other artist collabs. She also tags brand accounts to show her affiliations with specific clothing brands or promoters that she actually works with. And for the eighth one, this one's a little bit of a cliche, but it's so true. Consistency is key. Staying consistent across all social media channels is another great way to really improve your social media presence and your strategy. By sharing some of the same content across all your social media platforms, you're not only going to make sure your followers on one platform don't miss out on the important stuff that you're also posting on other platforms, but it will also make sure that your overall brand presence seems more professional and put together. Big artists do this very well, Big eyes like Lil Nas X. As you see, consistently post similar things across the different platforms like Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. So for example, by pinning this post to the top of his Twitter and Facebook profiles, Lil Nas X is making sure his followers are engaging and interacting with the posts that he most wants them to see. In this case, his music video release. It allows people to highlight the content that is not to be missed, that's important, that's even time sensitive. Now we can't talk about the best strategies for marketing your music online without mentioning hashtags. And it may seem like it's a thing that people don't use anymore, but trust me, people do, and people even follow hashtags online. So incorporate hashtags and do not underestimate the power and the value of using hashtags on social media. Hashtags help users find you and your music, even when they don't already know or follow you. So they hold a lot of value for emerging artists that are still trying to build and find their audiences. Probably the trickiest part about using hashtags is choosing the right ones. So there's a few different things to consider when thinking about hashtags. First and foremost, keep it relevant. You only need to be using hashtags that describe you as an artist or something to do with your music. Be specific. Using hashtags that already have millions of posts make it very highly unlikely for your post to be seen amongst the clutter. So try and narrow it down to more specific categories like your music genre and the type of artist that you are. Finally, think about location. Location-based marketing is huge. Geotagging is a great way to try and target more of a local audience or find new fans in specific places. There's endless possibilities with hashtags. You could even get really creative and launch an entire campaign around a hashtag to really drive engagement and traffic to your socials. 
There's been a lot of real world examples of this. But one of the favors is Biffy Clive Rose 2020 album campaign, where fans were sent out stylish postcards that included a link to a secret website and a hashtag, this is the sound that we make. The band then encouraged their fans to take to social media with this hashtag and then post their own predictions of what they thought would be revealed next. So it was the actual fans themselves that were building their own anticipation for the band's next launch. And I think that's quite smart. It's almost like allowing them to do the work and then when you're ready, you just drop what you need to drop. And finally, the last social media strategy that we have for you today in today's video is to go live. During and off the back of the pandemic, live streaming has become absolutely massive. It's another huge social media trend that a lot of emerging artists should be jumping on if they haven't already. Most major social media platforms now have the tools that allow you to go live from the app, like Instagram's live feature, Facebook's live feature, even Twitter has its own inbuilt live feature. And even live streaming music from Twitch is another one. Artists who go live with their music have a better opportunity to develop a more tangible and transparent relationship with their fans and their followers. You gotta think of it like a free virtual concert for all of your fans and supporters. And the great thing is, fans and supporters can view and lock in from anywhere. And you can even hold some cool private live streaming sessions by giving fans an exclusive invite link via your socials. Or you can even brand it as a dedicated live streaming series like many artists have done now. During the pandemic, Clean Bandit hosted what they called the Clean Bandit House Party, which was basically a series of fortnightly live stream sets it was dj sets that they had on their youtube channel it was hugely successful and gained the band over 82 million streams across spotify and apple music which really goes to show the power of live streaming on social media and it shows that you can use one platform to push streams from one place to another and that's it guys 10 strategies for marketing your music across any social media platform and like i said at the beginning social media is an unmissable opportunity for marketing promoting and showcasing your music online it's still the best way to find new fans and listeners. So using these skills will really help you hone in your social media marketing strategy. And remember, you don't have to use all 10 of these techniques. Craft a strategy that's unique to you that will work for what you do. Something that help you achieve from marketing your music on social media. Whether it's more followers, an increasement of engagement, or some other metric. Tailor your own strategy to you and your music. But yes, again, it's myself, Vital. And from me and the rest of the Ditto Music team, I want to say, Big love and thank you. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you do not miss a single video. Get down in the comments so you know what to do. Any comments, any questions, let us know. We'll try to get back to as many as we can. And I will catch you guys next week, next time. Peace and love.